Hey guys, so today I will be going over how to use the text input tool, which is a tool where you can manually enter your values or copy them over from Excel. So the first example I'm going to use is, let's say that we have two text input tools and we don't actually want to import the data on a normal input tool, so we have the 50 states of the United States right here and we want that to be one side of the text input so we are going to copy it into the tool and note that if you want to copy with headers you need to select this cell right here that my mouse is over not this one so you can just control V paste that in there and you'll see we have our state and we have our two letter code to go along with the state. And then on the other text input tool, we wanna be analyzing the average household income for every single state. So we're gonna copy that and the same applies here. So when we wanna copy with headers, we can just copy with this box and control V and just so you guys see what it looks like when we copy without headers it will look like that and you'll need to use a select tool to auto name the fields so after you're using a text input the best thing you can do is throw a select tool after it to make sure that your metadata is set up the right way so for this one it's obviously not because Excel has it read in as a number while Alteryx has this read in as a string. But say we do want to join these two data sets together, the state is a string and the state is also a string off of both inputs. We can join on the state equals state and we're going to get 50 records joined with the average household income for every single state. So that's a good use of the text input tool. So you can also manually enter values in this tool such as if you need to merge something into your data set very quickly you can type in let's say value A and value B and you can just name these whatever you want say you want to know your employees hours and we'll just call this employee and hours so we'll do Doug Curtis and Nathan and Doug has eight hours Curtis has ten hours and Nathan has six hours so you can also enter data like that and edit the metadata strictly off that text input using a strict select tool right afterwards. There's a couple other things you can do with the text input is you can use the import button which my mouse is hovered over right now to basically import a data set as an existing file or connection so you can use a file such as Excel, a text, you can connect to a SQL server, Hadoop, etc, etc. Any data connections you have you can use to put, throw into the text input. So you can also rename all of your field names in this input on the fly just kind of imagine this as you're making a blank Excel spreadsheet and starting your columns. So state IL, VA, NY, and city is Chicago. I don't know Virginia City, but <laughs> New York, Charleston. So there we go. Let's do that just like we can in Excel and we can delete individual rows or we can delete individual columns going like that and we can also delete the headers if you hover over the delete and select header you can also insert headers insert columns 
and insert rows in the text input tool and this quick easy way instead of using control V to get your data in here is just the paste function if you just hover over there and you can also copy your data from this text input tool so I want to copy this data out I'm going to select copy and I'm going to go over to say Microsoft Excel and paste that in there and that is pretty much it there's um, a lot of things that this can be useful for and I hope you guys found this video helpful and have a better understanding of what the text input tool is and thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel thank you